guys, welcome back. This is gonna be my unboxing for the Sephora A Play subscription service. If you've been following my Ipsy unbaggings, I mentioned a couple of months ago that I canceled one of my subscriptions. I kept just one and I wanted to try different subscription services. At that time, I received an email from Sephora saying that I qualified or that it was open in my area, the subscription service, so I decided to try it. It's $10.89 a month. I guess it's $10 plus taxes or whatever state you are and I know there's some people in the wait list so if um, I don't know it kind of opens in different areas and different states so if you want to sign up and it's still not available in your area you can put yourself in the wait list like I did and then they let you know whenever it's open in your area or whenever they can start to send you this box they do not charge you or they didn't charge me until this was available I think I signed up on the 15th of um, April or something like that it was sometime in April and then I got charged the first uh, of May so they still you know you just put your information in and you know that it's gonna be taken out of your account on the first of the next month if it's available for you then um, now I'm just gonna share with you what I got I did an unboxing in my snapchat if you don't follow me I'll put my snapchat somewhere here you can follow me there if you want more like 101 kind of thing I have um, some people that follow me there so it's it's not a lot so I decided to still do an unboxing and share with you what I got now um, the first thing you see when you get the box is this little um, I don't know flyer or something that gives you information about each one of the products and it's it does really have a lot of information that it might be helpful as far as each one of the products that you're gonna get in this box and also what I like about it is that it has tips different tips that you know they go with the kind of product that they send you for the month now inside the box is this little bag I've never seen one of these bags in one of the unboxings before so I don't know if this is new or not they used to have some kind of paper in the bottom and then the products on top which I don't know I think the bag it's a better idea now um, I'm gonna open it and go one by one and give you a little bit of information about each one of the products and hopefully I can put something on the screen or maybe in the info box uh, down below so once you open this you'll see that you'll have a lot of information on top you can see the products and a little bit of information about them and then right here you have tips for hair for masks or face masks and for lips because those are the three categories that I got in this box now um, they also give you one of these cards and on if you go to Sephora and you purchase something you can show this card to them and they will give you 50 extra points and in the back I don't know if you noticed before but it tells you the prices of the full size of the products that they sent you in this box so I'm gonna start with the first thing but this is where the perfume little perfume sample came in I am very picky with a perfume so I usually stick to the ones that I like now of course I don't I am not up to date with the new perfumes because I don't know I'm not the kind of person that will go into Sephora and just start smelling different perfumes it kind of gives me a headache and sometimes I just feel like I'm so confused that I don't even know what I like so it's nice that they send you as an add-on to the box they send you a perfume now it has a little postcard which I think it's so cute I don't know if you can see it from there the glare is kind of crazy and then on the other side it says the brand it's called Atelier Cologne and this is the orange sanguine and then this is the perfume it smells like I'm gonna read it a refreshing burst of sweet blood orange and bitter orange peel paired with notes of geranium it's really like citrus smelling perfume once you smell it here it is very strong but once you put it in your skin it really kind of changes and becomes something more warm and not so strong so just try it if you smell it here and you think it's too strong try it and see if it really lasts on your skin I'm trying to see how long this is gonna last on my skin if it really goes with the chemistry of my body or not oh. this is really nice and now I was curious to see how much this is and it retails for hundred and ten dollars of course not this small size but the full size so I think having that little sample and using it for maybe I don't know a week or two weeks depending how much perfume you use maybe you'll be able to decide if you want to buy a perfume that is $110 so 
Now the next product is is the Bi Beauty Amuse Bouche Lipstick in Kimichi and this is a handcraft high pigment, pigment lipstick that delivers intense hydration using 12 edible oils. This is what it looks like. It's just so pretty. Of course, it's what I have on my lips right now and this is very, but I mean very bright. And if you look here and if you look in my lips, it doesn't look the same because I applied a little bit of translucent powder on top because I felt like I have green and then this lipstick and I know I have more of a neutral eye but I still felt like it was a lot of color so I decided to apply a little bit of mattifying powder on top. Now this is matte so you don't really need the mattifying powder if you like very bright pink colors but I I am eager to try this continue to use it kind of put it to the test the formula I also read here that they create all lipsticks using food grade ingredients that are antioxidant rich and made in small batches it contains pomegranate oil and coconut oil and they talk about the benefits of using those kind of oils in this uh, lipstick so I don't know I'm just I've never tried bite lipsticks before, so I want to see what all the hype is about. And the next product is a mask, or not a mask, but a mask primer. And I can't find it, it's right here. This is by Origins, and it's the new Maskimizer Skin Optimizing Mask Primer. So, this is what it is it's a mask primer. I mean, a mask primer have you ever heard of that I mean this has like a little spray thing of course I'm not gonna spray it on top of my makeup but um, I'm eager to try it and see how it works this is the full size this is what it looks like right here uh, and then it also has two masks the origins clear improvements and the drink up intensive this is the one that you leave on all night and this is more of a charcoal mask to clear the pores so I don't know, I've never tried Origins before. Once again, that's the whole point of this box for me because I am not the kind of person that is shopping at Sephora every week or every other week. So I'm always trying to see what the new products are, test them and see if it's something that I need or not. So then I also, I'm just grabbing stuff from the bag, have a Rio Geo Dawn Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. This has no parabens, silicones, but um, this is one of those products that is more natural. Um, they said that the founder was inspired to start a cosmetic company by her grandmother who harvests raw ingredients from her own farm to make hair care products. So this contains argan oil and also avocado oil. This is the more natural way of using mask in your hair. I have a lot of masks and I love masks for my hair. That's the only way that I can keep it healthy. But I can find a mask that is 100% natural and you know that it's ingredients, it's amazing enough and that it will still give me that really nice moisturized look to my hair and feeling. So I will give this another shot. I've tried one um, that I got from Ipsy some time ago, but I remember that it was blue. So I don't know if they have different kinds or not, but I will try it. This has one ounce, so it's a pretty nice size. Maybe this will be enough for two, maybe just one, but at least I'll try it. Yeah. Then the next product is a lip liner. Um, this is by Tarte. This is the TARDIS in the color Later Gram. This is what it looks like. It's a very pretty um, lip liner and that's how it looks like. Not that one, but that one. It's a very kind of nude color mauve undertone it's really nice i feel like since it's matte it's not as it doesn't glide on like maybe others do but i still want to use it i use it as a lip liner for this look and then it kind of got hidden by the lipstick but i will continue to use it and let you know this one it says that uh, the mineral pigments in tarts products are made by crushing actual earth minerals into fine powders and contain no synthetics counterparts parts so they're perfect for sensitive skin something that i need to try and compare it with other lip liners that i do love the next product and last one is the chorus mask this is the Chorus Wild Rose Sleeping Facial. This is a lightweight overnight facial treatment that melts into the skin to brighten and moisturize with 
wild rose oil and that's what it looks like and i have the full size for that that i've been using for a while now and this is what it looks like uh, it does have a strong smell i have to say that it does have a, that strong smell of essential oils but that's it it's not something that they added it has that rose scent um but it's very very strong and it's more like citrus i don't know it's it's strong but it works like a miracle worker overnight i've tried one before um it was mary Kay one that you can leave overnight and i did enjoy it so once i saw this one i was like i want to try that one because the overnight for mask, me they do really work finally that was nice. it so for me it was a really nice box nice. i don't want to get another subscription service just to keep the products you know collecting products so since this is by Sephora and these are products that you get in Sephora and I mean you've seen the the prices of each one of these products I mean there's $26, $18, $48, $25, $26, $110 I mean these products are more expensive they're not drugstore they're not maybe like the ones that I get every once in a while in my EVC so I want to make sure that I use it from start to finish that I use them consistently so I can you know by the end of the month or as soon as I'm done with these products I can know for sure if it's something that I need in my collection or not I I feel like if I use them on and off I can never tell if it's something amazing enough to repurchase or not so my idea is right after this video I will uh, record an intro for this and I'll share with you the products once again so that's something that I wanted to mention just in case that you see me you know with these products again I just want to make sure that I can use them consistently and maybe add them you know incorporate them into my routine and the products that I have in different project pans and by the time that I get my next box you know this products will be empty or near empty and I can move on to the following ones and you know have like a constant shopping list or products that I won't repurchase or products that I didn't enjoy and that way I can actually take advantage of receiving this kind of products um, every month. So anyways, if you want more information about this box, I will link it in the description box down below. Remember to check that out. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I love to read your comments. Sometimes I get a little bit behind, but I'm trying to get to the comments the same day. So that way I can answer any questions. So anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. Remember, if you're new to subscribe, so you won't miss any new videos Monday through Fridays. And I'll see you on my next one. Mwah.